So if we were to continue this process of 255, 255, 240 is our mask. Again, we know how we got the 240. We're going to turn on the uh, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 equals 240. And that is the number then that we care about is, if you will, in our third octet, dot 68. So how do we figure out what are the networks, what is the network address, and what is the broadcast address, and then what are the hosts, possible hosts, in that subnet range using our fingers? Well, the easy way to use our fingers is 68 is our number. That's sort of our number that we're looking for based on those four bits, 128, 64, 32, and 16. So if we look at that in this case, is the 128 bit on? No. 128 would be larger than 68. So therefore, we know that in this case, the 128 would be off. So we would put a zero there. Is the 64 bit on? Yes. 64 is less than 68 so that bit would be on and that technically would then be our network address because it is the smallest of those numbers so that would become our network address 64 and then dot zero since all those are on or technically zeros all those are off there's our network address let's go back to change the color so 64 64 plus 32 would be 96, so again, that's bigger. That has to be off. And 64 plus 16, 80, that's bigger, so that has to be off. But here's the, the thing. 64 plus 16, 80, if that were on, that becomes our next network. So 64 plus 80, or 16, sorry, 64 plus 16 is 80, minus 1 is 79 and then that becomes our broadcast address because all the bits are on 79.255 and that becomes the broadcast address for this subnet range so again, if I gave you a network of 192, 168, 68, 25 with a slash 20, that's the other way the masks can be written. That's how many bits are on. So think about slash 20 says, I got eight bits on there, 255. So there's eight, and then another eight, 255. So 20 minus 16. How many is left? Four, and that's the four right there. 240 must be contiguous. You cannot have a zero here. That would be, you know, no. Can't do it. So it's got to be a one right there. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16, 240. There's our dotted decimal notation. Then again, the simple way to figure out what's the network is what's the smallest number less than this value. So again, 128 is bigger, so that's off. 64, smaller, that's on. 64 plus 32, that's bigger. 64 plus 16, larger or bigger than 68. However, 64 plus 16, which is also the smallest bit of our mask, 64 plus 16 is 80. So 80 minus 1, 79, because 80 becomes the next subnet. The next one would be 80 dot 0. That would be our next network address. And then think about 64 plus 32 would be 96 minus 1. Then that would be 95 dot 255 would be the next network that would follow, if you will, this particular and then 25 dot 25 here is just a host address within this range so that's how I do finger netting if you will made easy the last and final step of this I'm going to show you then are how many hosts are within 
this particular subnet. So how do we figure out how many hosts in the subnet? Think about now, we've got, if you think about your right and left hand down here for this, this field, so we have 256, technically there, 0 through 255. Then this next bit here, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, all those are off. The next bit that's on as part of our mask is 4096. That's what that would be in decimal. So 4096 minus 2, 4096 minus 2, would give us 4,094 hosts, potential hosts in that particular subnet. So again, simply by using my fingers based on this IP address, 192.168.25 slash 20, I can tell you that the network is 192.168.64.0. We went through that. How we get that, uh, again, the 8 bit is off, 4 bit is on, 64, 64 plus 16, that's the next, 80 minus 1, 79, so there's our network and broadcast. And then again, since this is on the, if you will, second, your second octet from the left, or third octet technically uh, from, the, from the left, because right, 255, 255, 240, so that would be our third octet in. That means we have the right hand's worth, or this zero, right there. Zero says we have zero through 255, and then four bits here. And there's what those equal, 256, 512, 1024, 2048. The next would be 4096 minus 2 for that particular network, 64.0, and that broadcast, 255, leaves us with 4,000. 94 usable addresses within that subnet range. So I hope that helps you understand basically subnetting, but how I use my fingers to do subnetting and what I call finger netting. It's very simple. And I'm going to do the next example in my third video here, doing it in the, the fourth octet, which might even make it even simpler to understand. So stay tuned. Check out the next video. Thank you.